Hey friends, Flair here with another streamer tutorial. Tonight we're going to be talking about nested scenes in OBS. Let's get into it. Okay, let's start with the idea of nested scenes. Um, in OBS, as you get to know it, you will be familiar with the concepts of scenes and sources. Um, scenes are things like your live scene, your be right back scene, just chatting, things like that. They're a group of sources. And as far as so sources go, sources can be anything like a, a browser capture or your capture your whole display. Um, it can be an image or just like a block of color. It can be a piece of text. Um, and it can also be a whole nother scene. You can use a whole scene as one of your sources inside your scene. And that's what I mean by the concept of a nested scene. So why are nested scenes good? Um, for me, the main reason is organization and reusability of sources. Um, I'm going to give you a couple examples here. And uh, you can just see, even in this very simple scene, um, I have my icons, I have my webcam, I have my background here. This is, it's actually just an image background, but I'm pretending that it's like the game capture source. <laughs> and in this case, I have, you know, just the icons and the text makes up six different sources just for this little thing. And say, I want those social media icons on my just chatting scene here. So, uh, you know, what you could do is just copy and paste all of them. And that works just fine. Um, it even s defaults but to pasting them as um, references to each other. So if you make change to one, it should change on both scenes. And that works fine. Um, but it ends up being such a clutter in your sources menu. So what you can do instead is create a whole new scene and we'll call it social and then we'll plop those icons there and then back in the other two scenes I can delete the individual icons go to just chatting delete them there too and then instead of adding the individual icons I can go and add a scene social and there they are and then same thing in just chatting. I can go and add a scene, social, and then the, there they are. The other, the other main benefit of this is in these complex things where it's, you know, this is six different sources that are all meant to be aligned with each other and stuff. If I decide that in all of my places, I want to switch uh, the order. Like I want, be, I want the Twitter bird to be over here instead and then I want all of them to shift back over so I can just change that in my special scene and it automatically changes on the other scenes as well whereas in the previous example where they were all just copies and references to each other um, when you make a change to each individual source like I showed before where you change them I changed the text here it did change that text but things like uh, the alignment of the individual sources with each other that was all just dependent on the scene they were in <laughs> so you would have had to make that same change every single place that these icons are and if you have six main scenes like uh, starting soon live just chatting be right back ending scene uh, five or six main scenes and then you end up having to make these changes five or six different times and it's terrible and in th this way I can just have this um and I if I want to make a change to my social icons I make it in my social scene and then I'm done and let's say in the just chatting scene you want them in a different place you can just drag that whole scene around like I want them right underneath the little minimized game capture thing that's fine and then in my live scene I want them back there um, but then you can still make changes inside of the individual scene and those changes will affect it just as that scene. 
Um, it's it's wonderful. This is like when I discovered this, it was like it made me want to go and do this for everything. Um, and then I did. So same thing, you know, another example would be to I have a camera and then I have a camera camera frame on top of it. Um, so let's say I want that camera frame to show up on my just chatting scene as well. Um, and I, same thing, I could copy the thing and then plop it in here and make it real big. And that works fine. But it's the same thing once I want, if I want to make an edit to it or add filters to it or something, it would not show up in both places. I have to make those changes everywhere. So instead of doing that, I am going to, again, make a new scene, camera. And then I'm going to take my webcam and my camera frame, copy them, and put them in that camera scene. And then in the live scene, I'm gonna delete them. And then just add that scene camera there we go and then just chatting instead of my webcam delete that and then i'm going to add scene camera put it in the background oh um and then in the actual camera scene i'm going to make everything just full size big old thing. So then in the live scene, I'm going to cut it down to how big I actually want it in the live scene. And then in just chatting, I'm going to leave it full size. But that way, now if I want to go in and say like, oh, I wish my camera frame uh, colors were different. I wish it was like blue and black instead of white and black. So there, I change it there, go back to the live scene, it's changed there as well. Um, and that's that's really all there is to it. That's pretty much it. Uh, you can get as complex as you want with these nested scenes. Um, you can nest scenes inside of other nested scenes. You can do a whole lot with it. Um, and we can get into that maybe sometime. I can give you examples through from my, uh, my actual setup. Um, but I'm not going to go that deep tonight. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, it's really my favorite trick in OBS to uh, clean up the sources and to be able to reuse stuff in a, in a very clean way and not have to make the same change in 10 different scenes. It's wonderful. Um, if this helped you, I'd appreciate uh, if you press the subscribe button, like it, make a comment, ask questions. If you have an idea for another video you'd like me to make, I would let, be happy to uh, hear that in the comments. Anyway, have a great night, day, morning, whatever, time zones. Cheers.